This is video four of Let's Learn Some African Proverbs. Video four of Let's Learn Some African Proverbs. If not, watch the previous videos in this series of African Proverbs. Please do well to watch them. Okay, number one. The first African proverb that you want to learn is the body is the house of God. That is why it is said, man, know yourself. The body is the house of God. That's why it is said, man, know yourself. It's an Egyptian ancient proverb. An Egyptian ancient proverb. The body is the house of God. Is the house of of God. That is why. Mm, that is why it is said, man, know yourself. Yeah. So there's an Egyptian Asian poem that says that the body is the house of God. That's why it is said, man, know yourself. Okay, the next question, that's an Egyptian, Asian, Asian proverb. Okay, our next African proverb is God exercises vengeance in silence. God exercises vengeance in silence. God exercises vengeance in in silence, God exercises vengeance. In silence, and it is a Togolese proverb. It's from Togo, a Togolese proverb. So it's, there's a Togolese proverb that says that God exercises vengeance in silence. God exercises vengeance in silence. Our third African proverb is: Men fear danger, women only the sight of it. Men fear danger. Women only the sight of it. Men fear danger. Women only the sight of it. It's an Ethiopian proverb, an Ethiopian proverb. Men fear danger, of course. But women, women, the sight of it. <laughs> the sight of it. So it's from Ethiopia. So it's an Ethiopian proverb. Okay, our fourth African proverb that we want to learn is the only difference between the cucumber and water is the moving of the teeth. The only difference between cucumber is a cucumber, not cucumber, <laughs> not cucumber. The only difference between cucumber and water is the moving of the teeth. And it's a Tunisian proverb. It's from Tunisia. So the only difference between the only difference between a cucumber, a cuc the cucumber, no, no, the cucumber, the cucumber <laughs> and water is the moving of the teeth, is the moving of the teeth. Is the, the only difference the only difference between the cucumber the cucumber <laughs> and the water is the moving of the teeth is the moving and it's a Tunisian proverb Tunisian proverb so there's a Tunisian proverb that says that the only difference between the cucumber and water is the moving of the teeth yeah our sit okay our fifth African proverb that our fifth African proverb is this. The news has gone round and round, yet the person it's concerned is dead. Is death. The news has gone round and round, yet the person it concerns is concerned is death. Okay, so the news has gone round and round, yet the person concerned the co the person is concerned is deaf person is concerned is deaf and it's a mozambique proverb so it comes from mozambique 
Mozambique. So there's a Mozambican proverb that says that the news has gone round and round, yet the person it concerned is deaf. Now my six or our sixth African proverb, our sixth African proverb is if God dishes you rice in a basket, do not wish to get soup. Yes. If God dishes you rice in a basket, do not wish to eat soup. And it's from Togo. It's from Togo. <laughs> so there's a Togolese proverb that says that if God dishes you rice in a basket, in a basket, mm, do not wish to eat soup. Yeah. So if God dishes you dishes you rice in a basket in a basket of course do not wish of course to eat soup mm, and it's from togo togo togolese problem if, so there's a Togolese for that says that if God dishes 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 you rice in basket, do not wish to eat soup. Do not wish to eat soup. Okay, our South African proverb, our South African or no, our seventh round, our seventh African proverb is this: mock the palm tree only when the date harvest is over. That's an Ethiopian proverb. It comes from Ethiopia. So that's an Ethiopian proverb that says that mug the palm tree, mug the palava the palm tree, or mug the palm tree, or ridicule the palm tree only when the date harvest is over. Mug, mug the palm tree only when the date harvest is over mm. is over only when the date harvest so mark the palm tree only when the date harvest is over and it's from as i said Ethiopia. so Ethiopian proverb so it's an Ethiopian proverb okay our eighth african proverb is unity is power so it's unity is power. Mm, of course. Then it's an Arabic problem. An Arabic, uh, Arabic problem. So unity is power. So there's an Arabian or Arabic problem that says that unity is power. Our ninth, our ninth African proverb is he who has people is richer than he who has money and it's from Nigeria he who has people yeah if you have people he, he who has people is richer than he who has money so there's a Nigerian proverb that says that he who has people is richer yes than he who has money, l'argent, is from Nigeria. Mm. So there's a Nigerian proverb that says that he who has people, he who has people, is richer than he who has money. He who has people is richer, <laughs> is richer than he who has money. Our last, our last African proverb, which is the tenth. The tenth one is the man who has never experienced evil, does not know the world of what is good. And it's from Togo. And it's from Togo. The man who has never experienced evil does not know the world, the world, the world of what is good. The man who has never, has never experienced evil does not know the world of
what is good and as i said it's from togo so it's a togolese proverb togolese proverb the man who has never experienced evil does not know the world of what is good the world of what is good yeah so that's the end of the progress for to for this video and i believe it has been really really helpful and you've learned so much from this tutorial yeah i've always been david and if you've not subscribed to this channel please do so so that you can watch many videos in this series uh, so that you can get notified when i make new videos and please share with your friends your relatives your partners and your children especially so that they become acquainted with some of these african proverbs and they will speak richer in a uh, richer english okay yeah they will express themselves so well okay so thanks for watching yeah thanks for watching bye bye <laughs> Eh <laughs>